Saints, the days are evil. Satan will do anything to steal our faith. But Jesus Christ is praying for us that our faith fail not. We must exhort one another even the more so as we see the day of the Lord approaching. The following words are spoken by the children of God and the Lord in regards to our lives that we may come to fully know and understand that God has had a plan and a purpose for us since before the foundation of the earth. David said, For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Jeremiah said, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Saints, as God knows even the sparrow, he knows you and he cares for you and he has plans for you to give you an expected end. The Lord knows the way of the righteous and his steps are ordered of the Lord. Paul said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. For those of you who were birthed into a hard place or hard circumstances, remember that God has a purpose in even this. And it is for your eternal perfection, dear saint of God. He desires to be glorified in your suffering. Paul said he was given a thorn in his flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet him, that he not be exalted above measure. In his weakness he was given grace and strength. In his infirmity he received power to glorify the Lord. We must remember what the Lord said to Paul, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. God wants us a hundred percent dependent upon him. He desires to be our sufficiency, our all in all. We, like David, can speak these words to the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth for ever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Jesus said, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit would remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Saints, the Lord would have us remember that we were bought with a price. We are to trust him, knowing the great assurances he has given us. We are to be patient knowing our circumstances are for our good and his eternal glory.